Hi, it's Dr. Doug Curtis. And you see Curtis from Dyslexic and Unstoppable. Our mission is to help dyslexics rediscover their inner power. That's right. And uh, we had an interesting conversation with a, a woman online um, that brought up an issue that we run into frequently. Um, mm -hmm. And that's whether or not you should identify a child with dyslexia early on or, or wait till later. And I don't know if you want to set it up with you know what happened or what the conversation was or basically what it was. Uh, I guess it's a mom who whose child was like five years old and she was trying to figure out, you know, where do I go from here mm -hmm. and and get him uh, identified and things like that. And um, somebody responded, well, it's too early and you should wait. And for me, it was like, you know, I would not wait because the earlier you help a dyslexic child, the, the better the outcome is. And then looking back, I thought, well, maybe she meant more of the labeling itself mm -hmm. uh, because I think it brings up that when you're five and six years old, if, you know, you can be dyslexic or not be dyslexic, just a uh, normal child and reverse letters and things like right. that. And by the end of first grade, you shouldn't see that. Right, exactly. And I think that's, so I think that, that's, that's, that's a it. legitimate concern is that mm -hmm. you don't want to, you know, uh, label a child who's not dyslexic um, uh, as being dyslexic because of that. Because as you said, early on, kids will reverse letters or, mm -hmm. or make uh, um, spelling errors or that kind of stuff that should straighten out over time and it's the child with dyslexia that doesn't. But the sooner you can identify some uh, child mm -hmm. with dyslexia, the, the better you're, you're able to help them um, and catch them before, mm -hmm. as we always say, before it hits their self-esteem. Um, and, the, and the other thing for me is by the time Felix Alexander, our son, was five, he had plenty of signs. Mm -hmm. You know, just tying the shoes, the speech, the, you know, all these things that we the didn't writing, know in, yeah. in, in retrospect when we look back, he had plenty of signs that mm -hmm. showed that it wasn't just uh, reversing letters here mm -hmm. and there. There's, that's why I say look at the list of, mm -hmm. you know, what comes up. Yeah, and take the whole kid, child into perspective. And that's what we mm -hmm. always say mm -hmm. with any of these issues, whether it's ADHD, whether it's dyslexia, whether, mm -hmm. whatever, you have to take the entire picture into, mm -hmm. into view and, and kind of decide, okay, it's not just reversing letters. It is, um, you know, trouble with the sight words. Mm -hmm. He is... Um, he is, you know, having issues with the counting and the uh, memorizing his ABCs mm -hmm. and uh, all the other things. And I think, you know, certainly for that child, uh, you know, getting at least some evaluation done, mm. you know, can't hurt. And whether you say it's dyslexia or not, that early, it's Even not important. Even getting services you know, not important to something. help that. If it's not, it will go away. And if it is, he will... He, he or she will have started the process right, of, get that far so far. I think, for me, I see it like that. That's yeah. where I see it. Yeah, and yeah. me too. Um, so that's our philosophy. Um, mm -hmm. Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment below and visit us at dyslexicandunstoppable.com. Thank you. Thanks.